Hey guys, Delicious VB here, and today I'm bringing another video to you guys. Um, it's been a while, but I'm back here again. So, um, today we'll be uh, going through a syntax highlighting example. So, I actually created this code before the video. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't um, risk the chance of making any mistakes during the video. But in this video, I'm going to go through my code. For syntax highlighting and let me just tell you right now it's simple it's fast and it works every time it's flawless there's no catches okay so um that's that's the um window that i've created it's a very simple window you can always modify it do whatever you want to it but um you know you're probably going to create a more um advanced um like program with you know file edit save you know all that stuff maybe even tabs so but this is just a code for reference to um so here's the code uh so we have a sub that handles rich xbox one um dot key down events so if you want to um start this code from scratch um click on your rich xbox or whatever's there um, of course, if you have tabs, you'll have to create this dynamically, um, which I may make a tutorial about. Uh, so, yeah, go to this little lightning bolt thing and go down to key down and double click this. Double click it. And then it should, op it should create a sub for you. Um, but, you know, it's always a good learning experience if you want to create one on your own. I strongly recommend that. So anyway, let's start going through the code. If e dot key code equals keys dot space. So this is what separates the keywords. So for example, um, if I hit space, that's telling the program that it should check if the last keyword is a um, a word to highlight to syntax highlight. So, ex for example, um, in Visual Basic, if you hit enter, after, if you type then and then you hit enter, then it's going to highlight this then because it checks if the last word is then. But in this program, it doesn't actually do that. It does just keys dot space. So if you press space, it'll check if the last word is a word to highlight. So if you don't press space it ain't gonna syntax highlight okay so you might want to add some other stuff there depending on what language you're trying to syntax highlight this is a really simple code um it it's just it's a simple code if you you know html you might want to add like e doc key code equals um the 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 brackets well, not the brackets what do you call it? the carrots the side carrot i don't know what you call them but that would be more advanced um numbers because um, they're not a, um, a member of keys, the keys class. Anyway, um, so these are just some variables. Don't really need to pension, pay attention to these variables. They come into pretty important use later on, but right now, pretty much just ignore them. Letter is very important. Right now, we're just declaring it as a string. It's empty. Um, no problem. So do until letter is a space or rich checkbox one dot selection start equals zero. So here you see a do loop. Now what were the concept behind the syntax highlight is that you're gonna wait for a space and then you're gonna go back. You're gonna go back until you find a space. And once you find another space, you found a word, right? And then it checks that word. If it's a word to highlight, it highlights it or else do nothing and then it returns to selection start this may sound like a very complicated process but it is so quickly executed um you won't see a thing so um so basically do until letter equals space so letter is the first um character that is highlighted so we want the first character that's highlighted to be a space and then we know we've moved back far enough to find a space or rich xbox one that selection start equals zero so if uh the first word you type happens to be a keyword that you're supposed to highlight then um obviously there's not going to be a space you're not going to type like start typing space and then start typing your um 
you know, you're coding, you're just going to start typing. So, in that case, there won't be a space before it. So, anyway, going into this do until loop, um, which checkbox one dot selection start minus equals one, minus equal operator. Operator just means which Xbox one dot selection start equals which Xbox one dot selection start minus one. Of course, you could use a with um, which Xbox one in this case. It would uh, probably help quite a bit. I mean, there are four instances of which Xbox one, so it would probably help. Um, but anyway, so what this is doing is it goes back one character. Um, it highlights back one character, but it takes... I mean, you won't understand this unless you understand the next um, line, which says, which Xbox one at selection length plus equals one. So this basically, what it's doing is it's moving the selection start back one, but the selection length is the same. So, for example, with this, if it's saying, if, if it's highlighting start, then it's going to, it's the selection start is going to be moved to end, right? But the length is going to be the same. It's still going to be a length of 5. Okay, so here it's a length of 5. Moves back one, it's going to be a length of 5. But then we say plus equals 1. So it adds to that. So it still ends at the T. So instead of just start, now it's end start. And then it's on start. And then it's I on start. And then it's shun start t on start whatever and then letter equals rich xbox one dot text dot substring um rich xbox one dot selection start comma one so this is um just setting letter um and basically with this this just finds the first character in the selected text and then if rich xbox one dot select text equals hello or space hello so this would work if it was the first keyword so it's rare, but, you know, and this would work for any other instance where there's a space before the word. So what this is doing is it's checking if it's a word. Now, say if you, if hello isn't a word, say if the keyword is, um, uh, if. So like in Visual Basic, there's a keyword if, you know, and then it makes the selection color blue or else does nothing. Um... And then it resets everything. So selection start is reset. The selection length is reset. And the color is reset. This line is very important or else you keep typing blue. So, um, yeah, these basically reset all the stuff so it looks like nothing happened. So uh, now let's test it. Click that, click, click that um, green arrow at the top. And just wait for it to load. Wait for it to load. Wait for it to load. Okay, now it's loading. Um, come on. Okay, here we go. So if you type if and then space, it's blue. If you can't see that, you might want to, you know, zoom in. It's kind of hard to see that it changed color, but, you know, if, 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 if. Whoops. If it keep making typo high and then if if see so it it, wor it works it works flawlessly works all the time works every time all the time any time each time every time as long as you give the time anyway um so um now you can change this to any keyword so let me change it back to hello quickly and you'll see that it works every time so um, click that green arrow and hello it's blue hi hi hello with one L you know none of this works hello you know kilo whatever but hello that does work so basically it's very simple code works every time it's flawless um it um it's you know it works all the time every time whatever so it's a great code definitely implement it it's simple i mean how many lines is it can 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 it say no okay um well this is line 22 so 22 minus 3 is um oh god 22 minus 3 is 19 i'm just 
all out of it today. Okay, 19. So it's only 19 lines for for a code that can like save your day. Like if you're creating a code editor, you need syntax highlighting. Without it, it's it's nothing. So it's just for just 19 lines of code, you can get syntax highlighting. It's really great. It's a great it's a great code. Actually, you can cut that to 18 because you don't actually need that line. Um, you don't need that line either. A couple lines you can cut out. So yeah, really for just 17 lines. For just 17 lines, you can get a great code like this. Actually, you don't need this either. <laughs> so really, really 16 lines too. But anyway, uh, you can probably cut it down some more. So that's it for this tutorial. Uh, next tutorial is going to be on breakpoints. I'm actually going to record that right after this, but it's going to be up tomorrow, day after, when, whenever. So uh, yeah. So see you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned. Like, favorite, comment, whatever you want to do, and. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.